Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. Spirit, please come near. Please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs at the time they view this video. We'll get some more shuffles in here till the energy feels right in the cards. Okay, there we go. And let's see what we can get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what guidance and messages do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? We start off your cards here today with the Eight of Cups, moving on, walking away, leaving an emotionally unfulfilling situation. But not only are you leaving something behind that emotionally unfulfilling situation, you're moving towards your Nine of Cups, your heart's fulfillment, your desires, your wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups is also a card of luck. Let's see what other messages we have for you. What are the messages for Pisces, please? What other messages for Pisces today, please? Hold on one second. We have some cards, make sure none are on the floor. So the next cards we have coming out is the Queen of Swords, feminine air energy, very decided, very logical, very pragmatic, but also very demanding. The Queen of Swords is feminine energy of the Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. The next card we have is the Hermit Virgo energy. This is about knowledge, about being a mentor because you've gone through the different stages of experiences and assimilated the knowledge, but not only have you assimilated to gain the knowledge, but you've assimilated the pain, you've assimilated the healing, and now you're in a position where you can shine your light on a path of your path and the path for others. The next card we have is the Six of Cups, a card that references the past, past memories, memories from childhood. This is also a card of soul connections. And then we have the Fool. So it's interesting how we go from the past to the new, to having a reset. The Fool is about taking a bold leap of faith, having a reset, starting over, lightening your burden, releasing your load, and moving forward with a renewed spirit, a renewed sense of joy, um, a lightness, a clean energy. What other messages for Pisces, please? What other messages for Pisces? Thank you. And then the next card we have is the star. Very beautiful energy that we're seeing here, the fool and the star. So taking a bold leap of faith and going in the direction of your true north, of what is truly meant for you, the Star card is also a card of desire, um, wishes, like wishes and desiring what you're desiring the most. It's a card of balance, a card of healing, a card of replenishment, Aquarius energy. So we're seeing water energy in the Eight of Cups, air energy, Virgo energy, Aries, and Aquarius. So let's dive in and see what further meaning we can get for you. Spiro, what is this Eight of Cups for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know about this Eight of Cups, please? For It's over. Something is irreversibly done. You're done with it. You're walking away. You're not revisiting it. You're going towards a rebirth. We see in the death card, the sun is rising in the background. And we see the white horse, a sign of purity, a sign of cleansing. When something is dead and done, you cleanse it out, you bury it, you put it to rest, and you go forward with a new day. And here we see, I'm seeing also a transformation from the light of day, a sunrise, to the darkness where you're really having a change, a change that is occurring within you, a change that is going to lead to external changes for you as well. The death card is also Scorpio energy. I'm hearing the word purging. So some of you may be purging some things lately. What is this death card for Pisces? What is this death card for Pisces, please, Spirit?
For the death card, we are getting the judgment. There's a decision to end something. Judgment is awakening. It is a rebirth. We can see the figures rising up out of the coffins. So we see this is a rebirth. And as you're having a rebirth, you're moving on from the things that are no longer working in your life. And you're going ultimately having learned the lessons, being very clear, leaving your past behind and taking a bold leap of faith in the direction of your true north. What is this queen of swords? Oops. What is this queen of swords for Pisces? What is this queen of swords for Pisces, please, spirit? I'm getting the word very demanding, very precise, knowing what you want. We have the judgment card coming out again. The queen of swords has decided. Her back is turned towards the, the past. She's not revisiting the past. She's going forward, having a rebirth. Not only is she having a rebirth, but her hand is outstretched. She's demanding to have a rebirth. And her left hand is the hand that's outstretched. And re we receive from the left hand. We put out into the universe with our right hand and we receive energy or other with our left hand. So you can see she's putting out this big sword into the universe, cutting away, making a decision very decidedly to go forward, but then also has an expectation. Let's see what this judgment is. What is this judgment, please? What do we need to know about this judgment? Thank you. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this is a grounded energy, a very pragmatic, stable, secure, fertile energy. Queen of Pentacles, Feminine Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So it could be that you're leaving behind a situation that was less abundant and going towards something more abundant or more secure, more stable. We'll get more information as we continue. What is this Hermit for Pisces? For the Hermit, we, we have a new beginning. Now the Ace of Wands, Wands are creative energy, they're passionate energy. Um, they're, the Ace of Wands can indicate new growth, new expansion, a new job, a new business venture. But here we see growth through learning. The, men, the mentor of the Hermit is shining the light on the experiences and we see the experiences being this wand with a lot of growth off of it. So whatever, wherever you're coming from Pisces, there's no doubt that you've had growth and expansion as a result of going through it. What is this Ace of Wands? What is this Ace of Wands? Thank you. For the Ace of Wands, we have the Knight of Wands. Very determined energy, that passionate, that creative energy of the wand, but taking action. Knights are about taking action, very bold, very determined action. The Knight of Wands also can refer to traveling, a change of address, a change of location. What is the Six of Cups for Pisces? I'm, I'm hearing going in the direction of a new beginning for the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands, going in the direction of a new beginning. For the Six of Cups, we're getting a number of cards. We have four cards that came out. The first two we have... The Nine of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. This is concern about a message regarding an offer, concerns about an offer. So something could have been offered to you in the past. And I say the past because we have the Six of Cups, but or it could be tied to the past. Thank you, Spirit. So the Page of Cup or the Page of Pentacles rather is the mentor or the mentee. Pardon me, is the mentee. We have the, the hermit who is the mentor, the teacher and the page of pentacles that is learning. So there's some type of stress and anxiety about uh, an offer or proposal. Let's see what other cards we have here. The next two cards we have is the Ace of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. So you're going to be cutting through whatever confusion, whatever stress and anxiety there is, because there does seem to be a new opportunity that's going to come in and you'll be able to have the decision to cut yourself from the past and move forward. Now we see the Six of Cups, which does for me as a reader indicate soul energy, such as soul contract or soul um, path, soul um, memories, etc. And then we see the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune being a card of destiny and fate. 
So it seems that there is going to be a new fated opportunity or a fated message, a message regarding pentacle energy, um, something tangible, maybe an offer or an opportunity. So let's go on to this fool and see the directionality that you're going. Actually, Spirit wants me to clarify this Nine of Swords to see what the stress and anxiety is here. Spirit, what is this Nine of Swords for Pisces? Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to take this one. Page of Cups. So concern about emotions, concern about putting yourself out there, concern about taking risks. But the, the Wheel of Fortune within itself is about taking a gamble, taking a risk. What is this Fool card for Pisces? And the Fool, we see the Fool has taken that risk. They have taken a bold leap of faith. They've taken, you know, the, the, the dice of chance and rolled and are starting over. For the Fool, we're getting the Two of Wands. So let's see what's going on in the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is about a decision, twos being decisions and choices, wands being that passionate creative energy. So what direction are you going to go? We see within the Two of Wands also, one of the wands is fixed, referring to where you currently are, and this person has a hand on where they currently are, also being the right hand, but in the left hand they have the world, open to a world of possibilities, and this other wand on the, their left side is not fixed. So you have freedom to move about if you so choose. So what is this two of wands for Pisces? What is this two of wands for Pisces? And we're getting the devil. Let's get one more card for the two of wands. So you can remain chained to something of the past or... Yeah, so we're having the four of pentacles. So we're, the four of pentacles is about holding on too tightly and needing to let go, but it's also, so it's it's very interesting that as I go off that train of thought for a second, it's very interesting that we have these two cards. Both are earth energy. The devil is Capricorn energy and the four of pentacles is earth energy. Both of these cards reference holding on or being held by something. Here, the four of pentacles is holding on too tightly to material possessions or their position and here, the devil energy is about being bound to something that is of a material nature. It can be, when I say material nature that you're bound to, it could be something as an unhealthy relationship. It could be a substance. It could be a, a way of thinking, or it could be materialism. You get the idea. It's, it's like things that we're holding on to, um, making a decision, making a decision about things that are either holding on to us or that we are holding on to and making a decision to free yourself from that. So it's we're, what we're seeing is a decision that will be made or has been made by you to move forward in a new direction, utilizing your previous experience and shining the light on your path from a point of your growth and expansion, understanding that you're following a greater plan for yourself and making a decision to free yourself from things that are binding and chaining you or things that you are holding on to that you need to let go of. What is a star for Pisces, please? So I, it's interesting. Um, I, I just heard in my head the... Um, the River Jordan, there's a song, um, I don't know the lyrics, it just came like the River Jordan. So if you guys are familiar with that song, I don't know it, it's just like, um, free like the River Jordan, I don't, I don't know. Um, what is the star, please? What is the star? Please show us clearly what the star is. Okay, one more card for the star, thank you. The first card we have for the star is the King of Swords, very discerning energy. We have the Queen of Swords here. Now we have the King of Swords. This is the masculine and the feminine energy of air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, very discerning, very logical, very pragmatic energy. 
The next card we have is the Five of Wands. So you are cutting yourself out. You're separating yourself apart from any type of strife, any type of trouble, any type of arguments. And you're going to a place of healing and recovery. And I'm hearing peacefulness. What is this King of Swords, please? You're not going to argue. You're not going to allow yourself to be drugged down into the dredges of low vibration. What is this King of Swords, please? For the King of Swords, we are getting the Seven of Swords. So you're going to do what it takes not to become embroiled in difficulty, not to become embroiled in low vibrational energy, as we just said. The King of Swords is making a plan. So you're making a plan. The King of Swords with the Seven of Swords could also be that you're working on an exit strategy out of this Five of Wands. So let's see what this Five of Wands is. What is this Five of Wands for Pisces? Show us clearly. And for this Five of Wands, we're having the Ace of Cups. So this is about deciding that you want a different emotional experience. You don't want arguments. You don't want strife. You don't want drama. You don't want conflict. You want to wash it away and go towards a new emotional beginning. We see here the communion wafer, the peace dove, um, communion wafer, forgiveness of sins, washing away um, what was. So um, this is basically the cleansing out of this energy and you're going to do it no matter what it takes so let's get one card for the overall energy of this reading for you pisces one card for the overall energy of this reading one card for the overall energy so i'm i'm hearing you're not afraid to walk away from the things that might cause you stress that might keep you in a energy of argument of strife of drama of difficulty and then we have fulfillment of wishes so as we were saying we have the eight of cups here then as you go through this process you come to the ace of cups which is the nine of cups so we see ultimately you're on the path to fulfilling your wishes and we have the star card which is the desires of your heart so we see that first and foremost is what's going to guide you. If you're in a situation where you're unhappy, if you're in a situation embroiled with drama, conflict, um, consternation, that might not be the right word, but that's the word that's coming to me. Um, we see that you are, if you're not, you're being asked to keep your vibration high and to follow the path of your true calling and not to get sidetracked or pulled down, drugged down by this low vibrational energy that might be around you because you have had an awakening and you've gone through the experiences to know better not to become stuck in that energy. And we see ultimately making being at a point here where you're making a decision to free yourself from something that might be chaining you or something that is you're holding on to that you need to let go of. Spirit One Oracle for Pisces for this reading. Okay, we have a couple coming out. The first one we have is luck. The duck and the chrysanthemum. Um, and this is what we were saying. Um, the I think I had mentioned before that the Nine of Cups could be a luck card. The Wheel of Fortune is also a favorable luck, good fortune card. The next card we have is Innocence, the Mouse and the Buttercup. This is kind of a cute, beautiful card. It's a card, you know, definitely Innocence is present here. So you may have um, innocently been caught into some type of web previously that you're needing to find your way out of. I'm noticing the Innocence card is the number zero, just as the Fool is the number zero. So we look at the fool, the fool is starting the fool's journey. There is a certain, not only is there a certain degree of naivety, but there's also an innocence that's present within the fool. Because the fool thinks, you know, going forward, going to take on the world, taking this bold leap of faith, but doesn't realize all the challenges that lie ahead on the evolution and growth of the soul's journey. Let's get one card for out of this deck. Spirit, one, one oracle out of this deck for Pisces for this reading. Show them what they need to see, please. Show them what they need to see. 
Thank you. And here we are getting connect with eternity. Let yourself be held by love. So, you know, this is really speaking about being in that vibration of love, being in that higher octave of yourself. We see there is some circumstance or some situation around you that might have drama, might have unnecessary grief, may have some type of arguments or strife we see something that may have been trying to bind you something that you may need to release and let go of but ultimately we see you making a decision to end something and go towards something new the following cards is is showing the process of you doing that and you ultimately coming to the ace of cups and a healing and the ace of cups this is really a cleansing out of the situation and ultimately allowing yourself to feel the love, allowing yourself to be embraced by the universe and connect to the eternity within. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.